I hope my toilet is not showing. Guys, excuse me. It's so bad guys, so effing bad. The stress and all it just telling on me. Guys, okay, hey guys, welcome to my channel. Oh please pardon my voice guys. I've been really um stressed. I've been through so many stuff for these two days. Guys, I finally made it to Nigeria. Okay guys. Welcome to my channel. It's Mommy K here again. How are you all doing? Hope you are good, guys. Oh my goodness. I finally made it to Nigeria after like 20 hours or more. I just, who's calling me, please? I just got to, my phone is ringing, guys. Oh my God. Guys, I just got to my hotel room. Like, I just got to my hotel room a few hours ago freshen up with my 90s and all like i'm feeling good now guys let's talk about experience you all like this trip is man though like yo i have never been stressed all my life i've never traveled this kind of travel all my life and the funniest thing is that this travel was so urgent very urgent that I had to get everything ready in just two days guys like yo i'm not even lying but let's talk about this my journey should i call this adventure or experience for real guys ha <laughs> i yell shake get on we hard get hard get hard get hard get for yakata my hard get no work again just negodu negodu Negodi mommy K, look at me, look at my face. Like, is this how mommy K used to shine? Am I not looking all stressed? Okay, guys, let's talk about this journey. Like, I had to get everything set. Sorry, guys, in two days. Because Daddy K bought this um, ticket for me to fly, right? And in the process of trying to get everything for my child ready, and my ticket was almost running so late and the funniest part is that the ticket is not refundable and you can't change it you either you use it or you lose your money and you all know how expensive especially those of us that live in russia you all know how expensive ticket is for you to get um ticket from my city st petersburg to nigeria is 200 or something thousand robots i can't even know how many thousands of dollars is that maybe two or three thousand dollars something like that then if you're getting from Moscow, it's a bit cheaper, 100 and something thousand rubles. That's why I got from Moscow to travel, guys. And I can't afford to lose such money. So I just had to use the best, what I thought is best, available option. I had to use the ticket. And for that reason, I couldn't um, travel with my child. And yeah, I feel kind of bad. Like, I feel so bad about it, but I know she's okay. She's doing well. Her nanny is doing a great job. Her dad is doing a great job. And she's very fond of her dad, even. Yeah? I hope my toilet is not showing. Guys, excuse me. Alright, guys. Normally, she's fond of... This video is going to be entertaining and so fun, right? I'm going to be so real. She's fond of her dad already, so I'm not even too bothered. But I feel like as a mom that, you know, you always feel some part of you is not there. And you always feel concerned, like, are they doing it well? Are they doing it the way they're supposed to do it? Is everything going all right? Yeah. So she'll cry here and there. It's not my kids do cry, right? Please, guys, I have to drink. Okay, guys, now let me share my experience with you all. Let's talk about all the, all the stuff that happened. Guys, I left um um home in st petersburg um around 4 um 30 on the 31st of october right i got to the vaza because remember i booked my booked my ticket for moscow the Mendova international airport because 
the St. Petersburg, there were just few tickets and even the date, you know, tally with my travel. And apart from that, it's still very expensive. So I had to go through Moscow. And if I'm traveling to Moscow, I had to first of all leave St. Petersburg for Moscow, then for Moscow to the airport. Hey, Jesus. It's like there is stress so okay guys early morning as early as 4 30 i already left the house i headed for the vaxa the train station right but in the train to moscow i got to the vaxa 5 a.m in the morning then before you knew okay we don't enter train headed for moscow i got to moscow 10 because i used the fast train there is some other slow train that spends uh, 10 hours, whatever hour. If I use that one, probably miss the flight. Because and I don't want it to if I will get to the airport and I'll start running up and down with bag and running to try. No, I just want to get there on time and take my time and gently do my thing. So I got to Moscow, 10.50 something, like just 7 a.m. in the morning. Came out from the Vazam. But then the cab to the airport. From the Vazam to the airport was one hour, 20 something minutes by car so we got to the airport apparently around them um, 12 something or so yeah you know i cannot just remember everything 12 something or so i entered the airport i got there my check-in time wasn't time yet right check-in time starts from uh, 205 and i got to the airport um 1250 something so i had to wait for the check-in time so i basically just went to go with my bag to make sure they are 23 kg each then i weighed them it was okay i took them to where they used to wrap bag because i didn't padlock my bag no it just make sense make i leave my bag like that no padlock no wrapping so i wrapped it and i went back to stand near the my stand right near the egypt air because i use egypt air if you're coming from russia you need to transit either from egypt turkey and other country other african countries right so i stood there and it was time they opened and i checked myself in now it's time to go pass all the pass 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 immigration stand all those passport control whatever whatever okay all that done and stamp out and all of that but let the flight right but then the flight i'm like yo from moscow to egypt was almost six hours five hours plus we got to egypt guys now there were last that the kind of stress that everybody faces in that place i never see airport when they get that kind of stress we didn't even face it in our obodo ibo russia those people are so slow they are so i don't just get it so we got to egypt i met um three other people that also came from moscow they also headed to abuja so the guy took a passport and body pass and all of that now they will come the way to if other people that we meet that they are still waiting for their own talk of us could you all believe that we waited for three hours after three hours before these people came what are they doing okay they are checking or oh, and the next thing they want to book a, a a hotel that will stay till the next morning because we got to egypt i think around the i can't even remember maybe one or two or something like that and for the flight from egypt to um abuja is in the morning around 9 50 something so they had to get us the place to stay till that time See, before we even get a place to stay, before they do all their going and coming back and forth, forever, it was almost four in the morning. Almost four in the morning. They basically took us to the hotel. I, I couldn't even sleep because they told us around five, they will come and wake everybody for breakfast so that we can start getting ready. I don't even understand, like, how many rest a person won't rest? Except it's me that is not getting the time frame away. So that was how they took all day. I couldn't even sleep. I just, um, I just entered there and I was just looking. So that was when I was able to connect internet because that is why I wasn't having internet. Ah, 
That's how I connect to internet. I don't know what make me to go to Instagram. That's how I just go to Instagram. I just saw one post that devastated my life throughout this journey. I just saw one post, the video song. That handsome if I boy. He said he drowned in the pool and died. Jesus. I even asked myself, what makes me to connect internet? Could you all believe that? I was just closing my eyes. The things just flashing back. Like, because I just knew that boy did. Even if we don't know the person and they are celebrities, they are always in our faces, right? That boy just do birthday recently. Three years birthday. And the next thing, what? What? She's like, okay, let me just leave that aside first. Me, so rest the peace. Like, I really feel for oh, Choma, my beautiful sweetheart. Take heart, please. I feel for, for those young parents. That little boy, ah, oh, Jesus. God, do best. So, guys. That was how before you knew it is five in the morning. That's how they wake everybody with their whatever bed. Cause they, those that want to eat, they went they went to eat. That was how the bus came. The airport is a bit far from the the hotel. So they had to convert us by bus, shuttle bus, came, picked people, took us back to the airport. Checking, checking, checking again. Go here, go there again. Go here, go there again. My brothers and my sisters. Mm. Then finally, oh, we got to the last place where we finally go. But that one, they are checking. Eh? They can use one hour to check one person. Ah, make a no lie. But yeah, they check for a very long time. You remove your cap, you remove your shoe, you remove your socks. You don't be food. Like they are checking there. It's serious. I haven't used their airline before. I don't know if they so they are serious matter. But it's good for security reason. We understand it. So that was how we got there, though. I know that's this hours. Yeah, you hear that right. Just be counting. From St. Petersburg by train to Moscow, four hours plus. Moscow, from, from the Vaza in Moscow to airport by taxi, one hour plus. There, from the Mandeva to Egypt, five hours plus. From Egypt to Nigeria, now again, six hours plus or five hours plus. How many hours is that? Not for road. <laughs> all this thing I'm saying, I know that I'm eating well low. You know that all those uh, airport food, it's just more small food. Now, normal me Africa woman, we don't eat small food like that now. You all know, swallow rice go hip and big, big, big meat. Right? I was damn hungry and tired. As can we see, like it's showing. So that was how we sat though. Man, this thing I'm cutting it short so that this video will not be too long. If I want to talk this story, maybe I'll make two videos. Ta -la, ta -la, ta -la, ta -la, ta -la. Oh, that's how we still find ourselves in the Abuja. Got to the airport. Ah, my country people. We got to the airport. So I already did my COVID because uh, it's, it's the law say you do COVID before you enter road. I did my COVID test. It was negative. I got to my airport. They told me the one that I did. That one is for that one. I have to do another one. Then I have to pay seventy nine thousand for another COVID test, which I paid. Oh. The delay in that place. Feel from feel this, feel that. I cannot even want to talk about that one again. My people not already know our people. That I paid. They told me the center I will go and do the test, which I have not even done yet. Hopefully, I'm able to go do it. That's how I came out from the airport. Start looking for taxi. The first um, uh, airport taxi I saw that one told me fifteen thousand. Which one is fifteen thousand? Say because this motor is a big motor. So the big motor, I give me small motor. I don't want the uh, big motor. That was how I saw another cab. That one said five thousand. It then ah seven thousand. We drag, 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 drag. Say that seven thousand. Said okay, let's go. Me, I'm tired. I want to go and bath. That one in my mind though, I did not pay that because <laughs> so guys that's how I find myself in this hotel. You all uh, then I go to this hotel. The first thing on my mind is food. I asked them, What do you people have? They said they have swallow, they have rice, they have this. Tell us to just leave it there. Give me swallow and vegetable. The letter came by, they said they don't have vegetable. I said, Okay, what do you guys have? They said swallow. And then uh, bolo, draw soup, or you go see. I said, okay, the way I'm feeling now, my throat is so dry. They go see, we not pass. So, because give me the bolo, let me take. 
as I ate my swallow and umbolo, then after eating and drank water, I relaxed for some time. I went to have my bath, yo, so I can freshen up. So when at least my eye will come down small. So now I'm done freshening up and all of that. I said, okay, before I go to bed, with this my tire self, I want to share this my experience because if I don't share it now, once I'm now looking all fresh and all, maybe I finally rested, I'm looking all nice and all. If I start to share the experience, people will not understand it. Once I don't begin fresh up, maybe after three days now, but they don't bounce back, I don't wear wig, everything done, you know. People will not believe it. I want you all to see me the way I'm looking immediately I land. That's why I decided to make this video, just to be real and show you I don't need packaging. I don't want to do makeup, wear wig, or all of that. I want you all to see me, see how stress and so that the story go match with my, my, my appearance. You all get it, guys. So that's how I find myself here, you all. So I'm just going to relax because this is not my final destination, you all know. Maybe Abuja be my base now. Abuja, my, my family know they Abuja. So I'm just staying here for like a day or two or three so I can just relax because I'm ha see now, I'm having kata, running nose, everything. Like, I just want to be a bit relaxed before I will now go from here to Bini Airport. From Bini Airport, guys, I'm not. I'm from a do state too, but not be Bini go 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 go. Like I'm from Asa, Urumi. So I had to go from once I get to the Bini Airport, I had to go to Urumi Park, and I think from Bini Airport I had to go to New Bini Market. That's where the park is. For New Bini Market, that's Agbo Park there. I think yeah where that place is to stay uh, tomatoes and all that's where we park is i have to go there take a um a bus or a car I'm going to Romy so i can go see my family you all like the journey don't be here it never stop i think from abuja to bini airport another ass right then i have to go and get to my place a son in Romy. So guys, the, the, the matter is still long, it's still continue, but I promise to take you along. I don't know if I if I tell this thing well, but you all should understand me. Like um I said I want to do it, but my head, everything is not functioning well, but it's okay. I think it's better like this. It showed the, the, the realness about what I'm talking about. So guys, I'll see you in my video. Please follow up. It's hashtag 13 days in Nigeria. Yeah, I'm going to be staying in Nigeria for 13 days. So I'm going to be hashtagging all of the video I made here. Follow this video up, share this video, and let's keep the adventure going. I'll see you in my next one, guys. And if you watch this video to this point, uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's keep the ministry moving and keep growing, you all. I'll see you in my next one. Always remember, this is chill with Mommy K. Even if it's stress, it hot, we still chill. All we do is chill and vibe. I'll see you in my next one, guys. Bye, you all.